Bangladesh is an agricultural country. Its economy is highly dominated by agriculture sector. The agricultural production system in Bangladesh has been passing a transitional phase. Still, this sector is dominated by subsistence agriculture. Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, is one of the vibrant partners of the government of Bangladesh in food and agriculture sector. In order to ensure household food, and nutritional security under the concept of farmers group development with a revolving farm system the FAO with financial support from the government of Italy has developed the technical assistance project titled food security through enhanced agricultural production diversified sources of income value addition and marketing in Bangladesh the project is being implemented in Haluaghat and Dhubaura Upazala of Mamansin district and Jinaigati and Nalitabari Upazala of Shedpur district. The main objectives of the project are to establish village-based organization in order to mobilize farmers group for best utilization of community revolving fund as a model of social unit to ensure food security. To encourage crop diversification, home and school gardening for better income as well as source of nutritional security to develop appropriate market linkage among the producer and consumer and to promote small-scale agro-processing, post-harvest handling technology and on and off farm income generating activities. The project comprises of three major technical components namely group organization management and sustainability, livelihood diversification, market access and development and financial access management and sustainability. Prokalper mool uddesho holo gram bitti shangothon tiri kora shangothone shodosho der shiar abong shonchoy jama kore abong prokalpo theke onu daner madhme e shangothone mool don shisti kora abong shodosho der fossil utpadon pokriya jat koron mullo shonjujon abong bazar jat koron shoha vivna ai bordon mullo kor magande shomprikto kora. In order to expedite the community-based development activities, 48 village-based organizations have been formed in project areas. 430 farmers field school and community field school have been formed. There are technology villages, homestead gardens, school gardens for disseminating various advanced agricultural technologies. For motivating the farmer, community mobilization meeting, motivational tour and various capacity building trainings and workshops have been organized under the project. Various agricultural technologies are being disseminated to the farmers through farmers field school and community field school. Some of the important technologies are vegetable production, fruit tree management and gardening, spices production, Balanced use of fertilizer, soil amendment by using dolochan, use of pheromone trap and perching. In addition to the crop sector, the project is also working with some focused technologies in connection with livestock and fisheries development. These are poultry rearing, pond aquaculture practices and management. Cow rearing that includes housing, silage making, balanced feeding, fodder cultivation and vaccination, beef fattening, goat rearing that includes balanced feeding, fodder cultivation and vaccination. I am doing this work and I am doing this work. I am doing this work and I am doing তাদের আগ্রহ বাড়াতে তারাও বিভিন্ন ভাবে মাছের চাষ এবং লাউ চাষ হ্যাঁ মুরগি এবং গরু ছাগল এগুলি দেখা যাচ্ছে যে আমরা দেখা দেখি আর পাশাপাশি গ্রাম যেগুলি কয়েকটা আছে এই কয়েকটা গ্রাম এই মনে করুন ডেভেলপ হইতেছে এইভাবে এখন যদি মনে করুন কিছু বিচার আমাদেরকে সহযোগিতা নাও করে তারপরে আমরা পাশাপাশি যে কয়েকটা গ্রাম আছে সবাই মিলিয়া তারা কেউ সহযোগিতা না করলেও আমরা নিজেরাই চেষ্টা করিয়া আমরা এটা চালায় যেতে পারবো in order to develop a sustainable crop production system, the project has initiated 
some income generating activities through community revolving fund involving the rural farmers. These are high value crop production, supporting to establish grocery shop, small agribusiness like agro-processing, establishing dark hatchery, embroidery, tailoring, handicrafts like mora making, stitching nokshikatha and chumkikaj in saris. আমরা সুমতি থেকে লোন উঠাই কর্মকর্তা বিন্দুরা এসে বলল বলে আপনারা শাড়ি চুমকি প্রশিক্ষণ দেন এই কথা শুনে আমরা তাই করলাম পরে আমরা ওই কাজটা করি কাজটা করার পরে আমরা 15 দিন পরে পরে হাজার 1500 টাকা পাই কিস্তি চালাতে কোনো সমস্যা হয় না আমরা অনেক স্বাবলম্বী হইছি দ্য প্রজেক্ট হ্যাজ অলরেডি ডেমোনস্ট্রেটেড সাম সিগনিফিক্যান্ট রেজাল্টস towards ensuring the food security of the marginalized people of the project areas. Namrabi and Chulaka Chesim are two of the examples who have changed their lives with support from the project. Namrabi, a member of Changragana village based organization under Dhubaura Upazala of Sherpur district. She received training on vegetable production. After that, she was provided with 15,000 taka loan from the Community Revolving Fund. With that loan, she started sweet goat cultivation in 50 decimal lands. The project helped her to get a linkage with the market. Now her products are being sold in Dhaka. She is earning 10,000 taka per month. She is now happy and self-reliant. আমরা চন্দ্রকোনা ভিবিও সমবায় সমিতি লিমিটেডের সদস্য হয়ে মাঠ স্কুলের মাধ্যমে খাদ্য নিরাপত্তা প্রকল্প থেকে মিষ্টি কুমড়া চাষ সহ অন্যান্য প্রশিক্ষণ গ্রহণ করি ভিবিও সমিতি থেকে ঋণ গ্রহণ করি এবং প্রকল্প থেকে মাঠ স্কুলের মাধ্যমে মিষ্টি কুমড়ার বীজ পাই স্বামীর সহযোগিতায় প্রশিক্ষণ প্রাপ্ত ধারণা নিয়ে মিষ্টি কুমড়া চাষ করি মিষ্টি কুমড়ার ফলন আশানুরূপ ভালো হয়েছে পরবর্তীতে ভিবিও সমিতির সহায়তায় উৎপাদিত মিষ্টি কুমড়া ঢাকায় বাজারজাত করে অনেক টাকা আয় করি উক্ত টাকা দিয়ে নিজের বসবাসের জন্য একটি স্থায়ী বাড়ি নির্মাণ করি এবং ছেলেকে কলেজে পুনরায় পাঠানো সহ পড়াশোনার খরচ জোগাতে সক্ষম হই পাশাপাশি এখন পরিবারকে দুবেলা খাবারের পরিবর্তে তিন বেলা খাবার যোগান দিতে পারছি আমি মনে করি প্রকল্পের সহযোগিত প্রকল্পকে এই ধরনের সহযোগিতার জন্য পারিবারিক ও ব্যক্তিগত পক্ষ থেকে অনেক ধন্যবাদ জানাই lives in Nalitabari Upazala of Sherpur district. She became member of Daudara Katabari village-based organization and got training on small-scale agribusiness. After receiving 25,000 taka loan from Community Revolving Fund, she started vegetable business with the support of her husband. She had 50 decimal lands and managed another 50 decimal on lease. Now she is earning 20,000 taka per month from her vegetables business. <laughs> অভাব অনটন ছিল প্রশিক্ষণ নেওয়ার পরে আমি বিবিও সমিতিকে লোন নিছি নেওয়ার পরে ব্যবসা বাণিজ্য করতেছি এবং আমার মেয়ে ছেলেরে লেখাপড়া করাইতেছি এবং কিস্তি দিয়ে যাইতেছি এবং ভালো সুন্দর কাটাইতেছি দিন From her success other members encouraged and have taken initiative to invest in such small scale agribusiness What's unique about this project is that it's not just about production. It's about marketing and livelihoods and value chains and, and making a business out of that production. So uh, we've worked uh, in these areas with uh, ultra-poor uh, families without much access to land, but they've worked on things like beef fattening, um, honey production, they've done uh, cr uh, crafts, uh, some of them have uh, taken for, for uh, uh, marketing and middlemen and working as a, as a distributor and trader. The project basically involves a kind of savings and loan arrangement where, where, where the uh, participants take a loan from a village-based organization, a local credit organization, uh, in order to develop these kind of business activities. In addition to that, we've also, uh, this project has also contributed to the construction of five agri-malls, which are kind of local village market spaces, physical uh, buildings, again for, for use of, of marketing of produce. So uh, the, re the initial results are extremely promising. Uh, people have taken the loans, they are repaying the loans, they're even taking further loans. In addition to that, there are a small group of grants given out to uh, the most needy in the community who cannot really even start to take a loan. They cannot uh, put down any savings in order to guarantee that loan. 
And so uh, there is also this uh, component of a grant, and those people also have benefited significantly from the project.